Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. How many of you still haven't gotten your hands on the adorable rainbow fox companion? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to give you all the steps you need to do to get this cute little guy. And I just want to give you a fair warning. If you don't like spoilers, don't watch this video because I'm going to give you full details. So it all started with the golden potato with a secret code uncovered in the Halloween 2022 key art. And I'll put that key art up here and the code for you so you have that so you can begin this quest if you haven't already. The Golden Potato quest took many months to uncover, but our journey finally began in the early part of 2023 in Merlin's house where we find a book with a potato pictured on it and a diamond-shaped stone slab on the table next to it. This will be the final task for the Golden Potato, but first we must head to the mysterious cave. And now we have the ancient doorway quest and it has begun with this potato. We are going to go down to the second floor down to be exact. So we're going to go down one floor here and then we're going to go down to the next floor after this one. And that is where we're going to find our next stone slab. It'll be sitting right here on this table on our left. We're just going to go ahead and place that golden potato on there. And once we do this, we are going to get a golden carrot. Once we have the golden carrot, we are going to jump to the Forest of Valor and go to Elsa's cave, where the mystery continues and we find another stone slab on Elsa's table. We're going to just place that carrot on the stone slab and we will now receive a golden crab. We're going to pick up that golden crab and head up to the top floor of the castle. Once we get to the top floor of the castle, you'll see another stone slab on the railing. Just place that golden crab on the slab and grab the golden night thorn that falls out. And this will lead us to the fourth and final task in this quest. Let's head on back down to Merlin's. Once you're in Merlin's house, you're just going to go ahead and take that golden night thorn, place it on the stone slab on his table, and we will get the gleaming gold potion. Put that in a safe place while we go on over to Remy's and find that red potato. Once we get to Remy's, all we're going to want to do is go back behind his little counter here. See where those little sparkly things are? It's actually his refrigerator, but it really isn't. Just go to those sparkly things, do your little magic, and you will get the red potato. The harder part is getting the red potion. Let me show you how we do that. Once you have the red potato in your hands, go to your nearest crafting station and whip up the icy red stew. Yuck. <laughs> you will need this stew to get this potion. You will need a red potato. You're going to need a chili pepper. You need a lobster. Slush ice and raspberry. Once you've whipped up this disgusting stew, we're gonna head on over to Remy's Realm where we will complete the potato, the red potato quest and the red potion quest. Once you're in Remy's Realm, just go on up to this order window and place your yucky stew. <laughs> and once you do that, you will get the red potion, the raging red potion. Let's head on up to Olaf's cave in the Frosted Heights and find that purple potato. And once you're inside Olaf's cave, just go straight back to the portal and talk to it. But I like to, when I first walk into Olaf's cave, I like to look around because I just love his cave. I don't know what it is, but I just love it. and just love the look of it. But we're gonna go walk straight back to that portal, for lack of a better term, and I don't know if you've noticed, but you can actually move this portal. <laughs> but you're just going to go ahead and talk to it. And it's going to give you a list of questions. Your answers are going to be potato, book, dreams, hijitus, fidgetus, fugu, crystal, foraging, the forgetting, raspberry, and magic. Once you've gone through all of these questions with the portal and you've gotten all the answers correct, and you should because I just listed them right there, a purple potato will come out of that portal. Once you have that purple potato, you're going to want to run down to your craft station and make the purple potion. Unfortunately, I did not record that part. I got overzealous in another video and I went, oh, hey, I forgot to make the purple potion. And then I thought I was recording it and I wasn't. So I can't show you that, but it's just basically the purple potato and a vial. That's all you need and you'll get the purple potion. Our next quest, which is the orange potato quest, happens entirely in the castle and its many realms. Of course, this was before update four came out, so we will not be going into Simba's realm, but we will be looking for tiny little orange pebbles. But before we can begin with this quest, we'll need to put our little handy glasses on to see them. 
they are the lenses of shadows, which you should have received them when you completed Scrooge's The Treasure Hunt Part 2 quest. That was an earlier quest as well. Now you can see that there is a, a little tiny orange pebble beside my feet. These are really difficult to find, and unless you know, you're never going to find them. So the easiest way to find these is to just follow along with me as I show you where each and every one is in this castle and in each realm. This is the easiest way to do it. I wouldn't try this on your own. It was, I, I did, and it was really tedious, and I ended up cheating, okay? I cheated. I admit it, I cheated. So once you're in Mickey's room, this is the next room. You're just going to look on the floor. There's one right here in the first room. You're going to pick that up. And there should be one right back here by the door. And there is. We're going to grab that. And back here in the secret, secret room. And this was one of Mickey's quests, by the way. If you don't have the secret door, it was the secret door quest for Mickey. So make sure you do that or you won't be able to finish this quest either. And there were three in there, one in two in the first room and one in the secret room. So now we're just going to go on out here and we're going to head up to the third floor of the castle. And this one's going to be over here by the railing. It's hard to see them up here because of the stars. See how hard that is to see? It's right there. Um, if you're doing this, just look for the little question mark, question mark, question mark with the A. That'll tell you that you're close to it. We're going to head up to the top floor now. And there's one right here by this plant. We're going to pick that one up. There are a total of six in the actual castle. So we've already found all six. Now we're going to go to the realms. And we're going to go ahead and start in the frozen realm. These ones were a little difficult as well because of the, all of that red floor. I, I don't know why that red just blocked out that gold or the orange, but it did. So we have to go back here behind here. You can just barely see it. It's right there behind one of those statues as you walk in on the right. And then we're going to follow this the whole way back to the statue where there's a kind of a fork in the road and you can either go left or right. We are going to take a left right here. And we are going to go back here a little ways. A little ways. And there it is. See how that orange fits right in with that red? I know they're like very close in color. And then we're going to head on over here. We got to get back to the ice bridge. And we, to do that, we got to go back through this area. The whole way back through all these little craters. And past that bridge. <laughs> it takes so long to get back here. And then once we're here, thank goodness, you want to look where those leaves are flying around. It's very close to that area. Just walk slowly and you'll get the little, there it is. You'll get those little question marks. And then when we're done here, there are a total of three. So we are going to head on back where you're going to use this really quick, easy exit access right here at the back of the land. Thank goodness it's there. And the next place we're going to go visit is the Toy Story Realm. And now that we're in the Toy Story Realm, we're going to want to go to the left over here by the backpack. You're going to find your first orange tiny little nugget. And then we're going to go through and we're going to go over to the closet quick. Once we're in the closet, you'll just look over here to your left and it's going to be right here in the corner. So you're going to pick that up. And then we're going to go back over to the other side of the room where we had to make that little paper barn thing. And right in front of that little paper barn thing, we're going to find our other little orange nugget. And then we're going to go back over here to the corner. See that blue book? We're going to head over to that blue book. And right beside it is the last one, the fourth one that we're going to find here in the Toy Story realm. So let's move on to the Wally realm. There are two orange nuggets in the Wally realm. So all we got to do is walk over here by these trees and we'll find one there. They're really hard to see here because the ground does match almost perfectly with these. So we're going to grab that one and we've got one more over here by the storage chest. And it's right back here. Like I said, they're really hard to see. So you do have to look for the little question marks. And then that is it for Wally's Realm. We only had two in there, which brings us to 15. We need to find five more. And we are going to head over to Moana's because there's a total of 20. Moana's Realm holds four. And then the last realm is Remy's and it holds one. So we got to find all four in Moana's, which I found the most difficult. So let me show you how to find these. The first one is going to be right here as you enter the realm. And you're just going to pick that one up. You can kind of see it in the sand. It's not too bad. And then our next one is going to be over here by the fire pit. And that one is difficult to see. 
you kind of have to walk around if you, if you don't know where these are. And a little tidbit of information about this realm, you can collect fruit. There are bananas and coconuts down here, so you can collect them and you can take them back with you and sell them. Or eat them, whichever you prefer. That's just my little tidbit of information for you. And then our next little orange nugget is going to be right back in here. And as you can see, I couldn't see that. I had to actually walk on it to see those little question marks. So that's three of them. Now we got one more to go and it is back up in this area. And this one's the hardest to find because you cannot see it. My advice is stay close to the right side when you come in from this angle. It should be right up here. And I, you know what, literally I found this, I went back to where I was and I almost couldn't find it again, <laughs> but it's right there where that first palm tree, where that little indentation was, that's where you're going to find it. Just stay to the right and eventually you'll run into it. So let's go ahead and go on to Remy's. We got one more to find because we have 19 now. And Remy's orange nugget is right back here in the corner. It's very, very difficult to see as well. They're all difficult to see for the most part. But if you just walk in this corner and you look for the question marks, you will find your last orange nugget. And once you have all 20 of your little orange nuggets, you're going to run down to your crafting station and you're going to craft the orange potato. And once you've crafted the orange potato, then you're going to go ahead and make the electrifying orange potion, which is under functional items at the crafting station. And its simple ingredients are the orange potato and an empty vial. And that is it. And now you have the electrifying orange potion. Let's head on down to Dazzle Beach where we'll start our quest for the green potato and potion. In order to do the green potato potion quest, you must do the Seed of Memories quest or at least get through half of it. The one you have to do with Simba. This is where you get the seeds for the Dreamlight Tree. So you got to at least unlock the secret room in the Vitaly's Mines to do that. So that in order to do that, you have to have done Simba's Seed of Memory quest. And I do walk you through that quest. I'll put a card up in the corner for you. And we are now catching our first green bottle. So you need 16 of these green bottles. And I already found one. I actually found one in the Forgotten Lands and I collected it already by accident. I didn't mean to. I just didn't know what to do with it at the time. And then all of a sudden I started seeing all these other little bottles in the water. And there are five down here in Dazzle Beach. And instead of walking you through each one of these to show you where we find them, I'm going to just put up a map while I talk about this. And the first thing you want to do before I put that map up, you really want to be careful when you do find a bottle in the water, they're, so the ones on Dazzle Beach are really, really easy to find. Some are a little more difficult if there's a lot of shading. If it's darker in that area, you can see right here, this one was really simple to find. What you want to be looking for, that your rings are golden. They have to turn gold or you're not on it. If they stay white, you need to keep trying until you get it right. Sometimes you need to be right on it. Sometimes you need to be to the left. Sometimes you need to be to the right. It's anyone's guess why. Like I said, they're really easy to find here in Dazzle Beach. I am just going to pull up this map now and show you where each and every one of these are so we don't have to waste time looking for them all. With the map pulled up, you can see there are five in Dazzle Beach, which we've already found four of, well, three of them for you. And then there are four over in the Glade of Trust. There are two in your Peaceful Meadow. There's one in the Forest of Valor, one in Frosted Heights. If we go over to the other side of the map, there are two in Sunlit v Plateau, and there is one in the Forgotten Lands. This should really help you narrow down where each of these emerald bottles are. And once you've found them all, you're just going to go ahead and take all those little bottles, and you're going to crush them in your pockets. So just pull them out and say, use, and they will all crush and start stacking. You will, you will have 16 of these when you're done. And once you have all 16, head on down to your crafting table because now we need to craft something. Now that we're back at our crafting table, you'll see we're gonna make the Jade Crystal. And the Jade Crystal takes 16 emerald silver, which is what you got when you crushed each and every one of those emerald bottles. And once you have your Jade Crystals in hand, we are gonna go on up to the Vitali's Mines. This is where we need to get into that hidden room. Remember that room I told you that you have to unlock with Simba's quest, the Dreamlight Fruit quest? So we're just going to head on back to this little room real quick. 
And once we're in here, we're going to go over to this little green crystal ball and that will allow us to interact with it. And once we do, we're going to interact with it. We're going to give it that jade crystal and we are going to get green seeds. The only way we can plant these green seeds is we have to take them to the forgotten lands. Let's head there. And once you're in the forgotten lands, just pick a place, dig a hole, put the seeds in it. And then I would recommend before you do any watering, and I would definitely do this when it's not raining because... You're going to want to use the Miracle Elixir Potion on your watering can. In order to make that work is it can't be raining and you can't have already watered your seeds. We're just going to go ahead and use this Miracle Growth Elixir on our watering can quick. And then we're going to water it so that it comes up all pretty all at once because I don't feel like waiting for it either. So let's get this done so we can harvest it quick and get our green potato because we've got more to do with this potato yet. We still have to make it into a potion, don't forget. And once we do all this, we're just going to harvest this baby and we're going to take it down to our crafting station. Let's go there. Once we're back here at our crafting stand, we are going to go under potion and enchantment and we're going to use the crystalline green potion. Look down at the bottom there, royal purple potion. See, this was the one I did it on, but I didn't record it. <laughs> But there it is. So our green potato, empty vial, and a jade crystal is what we need to make the crystalline green potion. And that is why, if you were wondering, that is why you had an extra jade crystal. Let's go get that blue potato and potion. So the very first thing you want to do with the blue potato is go get the blue potato and it will be found in Ursula's home. So wherever you have her home, go there now and go find the blue potato. Because you need this potato to even go forward with the rest of the little quests that are involved in getting the blue potion. Once you have the blue potato, we need to head over to Moana's realm where we'll find a water maze. And this will give us a blue shell. And you must do this in this order because I did try it out of order. I tried to get to the Little Mermaid biome. We call it the Little Biome. I tried to go to the Mysterious Cave. None of it worked without going to Moana's first. So let's head there. Once you get to Moana's realm, all you've got to do is find this little opening. And once you do, you just have to work yourself through this little water maze the whole way over to this little cove. I, I want to call it a little cove. And it does take a little work. You just have to kind of maneuver it and you'll be fine. You'll find it. No problem. It's getting out. That's the problem. <laughs> but you'll find this little blue shell and we will need this later. So pick that up and then make your way back. It's not easy, but I have faith in you. And once you've made your way out of Moana's realm, you want to head on over to the Little Mermaid biome. I call this the mini biome. And we're going to go ahead and find a new maze on these waters. And this one's not as difficult, I don't think. But always getting out confuses me for some reason. You just have to maneuver and play with it. You'll be fine. Look at us walking on water. That's fun. But you're going to go over here to this little alcove and you're going to find a blue starfish. And then once we maneuver... <laughs> out of the Little Mermaid biome, we're going to go to the Mysterious Cave. And once you get to the Mysterious Cave, you're going to want to go to the very, very bottom of this cave. I'll meet you there. Once you finally get here, there's going to be another little water maze, and you just walk between that, that ruin and that rock, and you'll get back here to a blue book. So you're going to grab that, and then you're going to make your way back out, and we're going to head to the Vitali Mines. And this is where all the action happens. So we're going to go to the left when we get in here. And we're just going to follow this path. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this. Because you want to make sure that you can get here. You're going to keep walking down this way. Until you get all the way over here. I know it's, it's such a long... <laughs> Oops. I think I'm lost. No, nope, I'm good. We're going to make a right, this railroad track, and you are going to suddenly be able to walk on air, which I think is really, really cool. So we're going to get a blue gem here. So we're just going to grab that. Now we're at five blue items in our pockets, and that is basically all we need. And now all we have to do is make our way back through the mines because we still have to find the blue gems that are in the wall by a puddle of water. We still have to find that. So we're going to walk on air again. I love that. And we are going to go back to the left. And like I said, I'm going to show you every step of the way because this does get confusing in here. And once we get here, we're going to make a right. 
and you see all these blue lights. There is the little puddle of water. We're going to interact with that. And we're going to place all five of the items we've got, including the, the blue potato. And we're just going to transfer them all. And once we do this, we will get the blue potion. So we didn't actually have to make it, but we had to go through a lot to get it. So there you go. There is our blue potion. And it is finally time for our final act. We are going to go ahead and make that rainbow potion. And I will show you how to get that beautiful rainbow fox that you saw earlier in the video. It is now the time we've all been waiting for. Let's make that rainbow potion. Make sure that you have every single potion in, in your pockets right now. You need the gold potion, the red potion, the orange potion, the blue potion, the green potion, and that purple potion to make this rainbow potion. And once you've got that rainbow potion, you will need to complete the quest with Merlin because without completing that quest, you cannot move to the dark castle and you must be at the dark castle quest. Once you get here, you now have a portal and you can also, you can also do this if you've already been to the dark portal and you've already been to the dark castle, you can still do this. You just have to go back and go back through that portal and everything's fine. So if you missed it when you went into the dark castle, you still have an opportunity to get the rainbow fox. As soon as you enter the castle, all you have to do is go to the right after you've cleared those thorns. And setting right there beside your bed, or whoever's bed that is, we find a fox statue. So all you have to do is take your potion, make sure you have this on you by the way, take your potion, put it in that little thing, and your fox is about to come to life. And he is the most adorable fox I have ever seen. Unfortunately, I was actually doing the Dark Castle quest when I found him, so I couldn't actually do anything with him. I had to leave the castle to do so, so let's go there. For this, I decided to go into photo mode, and look how cute this is. This is like the only pet that I know of that you can actually sit on the ground and pet. So if you know of any other pets that you can do this with or other companions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I really do appreciate it. And I thank you so much for all of you who have already subscribed. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.